on behalf of the Catholic Education Office, OPUS have been investigating the earthquake performance of school buildings. Initially, these reviews have concentrated on looking for and repairing damage. More recently, we've been able to conduct more in-depth engineering assessments of the buildings. These are known as Detailed Engineering Evaluations, or DEEs. In the Greater Christchurch region, this process is required by SARA, and the process is being mirrored across the country for many non-residential properties. Observation of how buildings have performed during the earthquakes has allowed us to focus on the types of school buildings that are the most earthquake prone. Earthquake prone is defined as the building providing less than 34% of new building standard. 100% new building standard being the strength that would be afforded by a new structure designed and built to current codes. From our experience, this type of building has been identified as having some earthquake performance issues that are a concern. The fully glazed facade lacks enough structural strength to resist shaking, particularly in the longitudinal direction. To rectify this problem, we're installing these temporary bracing panels that are attached to the foundations and roof structures at multiple points along the length of the building. The panels add rigidity to the structure. The panels and other associated modifications, now completed, will improve the performance of the buildings to approximately 67% of new building standard and allow them to be reoccupied. This is the target level acceptable to City Council for upgrades to earthquake prone buildings. While it would of course be preferable to bring the buildings up to 100% of new building standard, it should be remembered that the Canterbury earthquakes have triggered a change to the building codes and that most buildings built prior to the code change in May 2011 would now only be at around 73% of new building standard. The next steps for these buildings will be the design of more permanent works that will further improve the building's performance. These works may include replacing roofing and cladding materials with lighter weight alternatives. In the meantime, please be assured that on behalf of the Catholic Education Office, OPUS are engaged in a process of evaluating all the buildings in the Diocese Schools portfolio.